So hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is the toddler folder activity folder that I was talking to you guys about in my last video. I've made this one specifically for Olivia but I've also made um, this available for you guys if you wanted it for your kids as well. So anyway this is what I've done. I've started off with Olivia's name and this is for her to learn how to say her name and we are learning letter sounds at the moment. So with her name, I will go through the different letter sounds so that she can eventually say her own name. So O L E V E A. So Olivia. And this is what I do with her every day. I start off with her letter sounds of her name. This is after I do the flashcards, which is something completely different, but I start off with her name. Um, once we finish that, I move on to the alphabet. Um, so the next page, the alphabet, and I just do the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, like I've explained in my other video before. But with this one, what I've done is, is that I've cut out the different pieces and this could be a really good game for a child, uh, probably for Olivia when she's older, not now because I think it's a little bit too, well, it is too advanced for her, but it is something which we can use um, in a year's time, um, you know, where she's able to match the letters to uh, the letters on the sheet. So this would really, really keep her busy for quite some time. And I think it will be a really fun activity for her as well. So I really like this one and I'm really looking forward to her doing this when she's a little bit older. So yes, if you want to uh, download this, you can. I will make this available for you guys um, in the description so that you can download it as a PDF and yeah, make this for yourself with your child or you can just make it at home yourself on a normal Word document. It is actually quite simple to do. But if you don't have time to do any of that, then just feel free to um, have a little look in the description and I've left a link down there for you guys to access this by PDF and download it. So the next page, the next thing that I do with Olivia is numbers. And I just go through numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 10. And that's all I do with her. But what I've done for the future, for when she's a little bit older, is I have created um, the quantity underneath the number. So when she's older, she she will be able to match the number to the quantity. This is a really good activity for her, um, for toddlers. Um, it is, um, you know, with practice, she will be able to do it. And this is something that you can actually sit down and do with your child yourself. So I, I really like this one and I'm glad I made it. It is actually really simple to make. So if you did want to make it, like I've said, you can just do that on the Word document. If you feel that you can do that. Um, if not, I'll make it available down below. So the next page is um, colours. Actually, sorry, going back again, one last thing that I want to mention about the numbers is that you can also use the numbers as flashcards. So if you don't want to just point out the numbers on the sheet, you could just take them off and just use them as flashcards because flashcards is a really good way for kids to remember um, facts and stuff like that. Right, so sorry, going back to the colours, it's exactly the same. You could take all the colours off and it could be a game, a matching game. So you would match the colour to the colour on the sheet. Or you can use these as um, flashcards again in teaching uh, the, the, the colours to a child. So this is a really fun thing for a child to do as well. Okay. So, yeah, so this is really good. So the child can just put them on and you could do it with them as well. Another thing that you could do with these colours is, is that you can find something in the house that matches the colours and that can be another game in itself. Right, so the next page um, and the next thing that I do with Olivia is shapes. And we, you know, we use them as a flashcards as well, like I said, and also a matching game. She's too young for that, so I just go through the shapes. So the next thing that I have in my folder is this lovely fruit bowl. Olivia absolutely loves this because she loves fruit so much. And what we do is we go through this page and she usually just picks a fruit 
and then we talk about it. It's like, oh, we had this yesterday, yummy lekker, and she really loves this one anyway. So I put this one in here especially for her. Now, this is one of her favourites. The next thing we do is nursery rhymes. And Old MacDonald is her favourite. I've cut out animals. And what we do is we go through the animals and we make the animal sounds. <laughs> Olivia finds these absolutely hilarious because I think I'm a little bit quite animated. As you can see, she's seen that I've turned the page over to this and she always runs to it. And she's just, oh, she's showing you guys the next page, naughty madam. Um, but this is something that she really enjoys um, because, you know, we've made it interactive. And, yeah, she likes to pull the, the animals off as well. And when she does, we make the animal sound of whichever one she's picked off. And, um, for example, the chicken. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so this is really good. Instead of just singing the nursery rhyme to them, you can actually show the pictures. So the next thing is the five little ducks as well, where you can take away one or two ducks and then it's the remainder that you count. So it's all numbers again. So this is a really good nursery rhyme to do with a child as well and sing to them. Um, yeah, so this is really easy to to find and, and create. Um, and I've, I've made these all downloadable for you guys. So do check it out. It's the same with the five little monkeys, the same way you take away one and then you count the remainder. Um, it's just really nice to sing with your child, but in a different type of way. Um, and the 10 green bottles, if you guys remember this from childhood days, um, that's another number song. Now, this one um, specifically, this one is a Dutch song because Olivia is half Dutch. Her daddy is Dutch and she is learning Dutch as well as English. So one of the songs that we do sing to her is 10 Kleine Fishes, Swimming at a Say. Um, <laughs> um, it's a really good song and she absolutely loves it and then we count the remainder like I was saying about the rest of the nursery rhymes okay so after I stick these all on I'm going to show you guys the last page of this book um, of this toddler folder and this the next page is or the last page is all about feelings and with this one um i just um in the mornings i say oh how's olivia feeling today or i would say oh mummy is feeling happy today or mummy is feeling tired today or something like that and we go over these uh, different feelings and facial expressions and talk about what they are well I try to get Olivia involved. I think by this time, Olivia's running around the lounge because she's just not interested anymore. But you don't have to. Well, I don't go through everything every single day in this folder. I just, you know, flip through some things. Think, oh, let's do this today and so forth. Just to, um, you know, keep her interested. Otherwise, she will lose interest quite quickly. Because um, I think her attention span, kids these days, their attention span is just so um short so yeah i try and um make sure that i do as much as i can in this book and i do this every day um it doesn't take long um 10 minutes if that where i just make sure that i definitely go through the alphabet the letters um the numbers colors and shapes those four are um definitely um done every single day the nursery rhymes I sing, we could do that anytime throughout the day. So it's a really nice activity book. It's also really nice to take out with you. So you could take this in the car if you're going somewhere. Um, yeah, I absolutely like it. I'm so glad I made it. Um, yeah, I got inspired by so many people on YouTube that have done similar things like this. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested in this, then please do download it or attempt to make something similar yourself if this is something that you would like your child to, to really get into because I would highly, highly recommend it. So guys, I think that is everything. Um, the PDF that I'm going to put in the description below, it won't include the Dutch nursery rhyme, but everything else in there will be included in that. Um, obviously not Olivia's name, but if you did want to download this for your child, even if it's just like as a base and then you can just add different activities that you find online to it, then, you know, you can feel, feel free to do that. Um, but I will leave it um, in the description below so that you can download this 
and it can just be the beginning of building up a toddler folder for your child or I would definitely say to try and make this yourself. I will try and make a video of how to make one of these folders. If you are interested, please do thumbs up or put in the comments down below that you'd be interested in that video um, and I will make that for you. So guys, <laughs> thank you so much for watching and I will definitely see you in my next video. Please do like, comment and subscribe. Bye.